So this is my year in review video. Uh, I apologize for my bad looking self, but yeah. So one thing that I've learned this year in mathematics about myself, uh, I've learned that mathematics may not be my favorite subject, but I'm definitely good at it and may want to pursue a career in something similar or related. So like something physics related or, uh, yeah, like um, nuclear physics or something like that. But we'll have to see as I progress on through my year years at Magnet, how I enjoy physics and calculus and all that. Then, one mathematical concept that I learned this year that I will never forget, and why. Um, so, I won't forget the law of cosines and sines, because um, when I was doing the math excels for this culminating project final, I was um, looking on Khan Academy for help, and I went through all the videos and lessons and all that for the law of cosines and sines and uh, whatever. And um, towards the end of the actual lesson, uh, like playlist or whatever you want to call it, the guy actually proved how they were true using like trig identities and all that other stuff, unit circle and whatnot. So, yeah, I, I found that pretty cool, and I don't think I will ever forget that. And don't ask me for the equation because I don't know it. Um, and then topics that I like and don't like. So, a topic that I do like in Math 3 is the trigonometry section, and I mean, like, all of it as you can tell because I like the law of cosines and sines and stuff. Uh, so basically I like how we can use some arbitrary numbers with a triangle to figure out the entire rest of the triangle, the area, the rest of the sides, angles, all that stuff. Um, so for example, if you're given two sides of an adjacent angle, and an adjacent angle, sorry, that would be side side angle and you'd use the law of sines so you would set up the equations sine a over a equals sine b over b equals sine c over c and then solve for the missing values so basically like if you're given 37 degrees for a and it's a j or it's corresponding side is like three units so you do sine 37 over three and then for, uh, if you're trying to figure out another length of an angle, you do sine, or if you're, yeah, other measure of an angle, sorry, then you would do sine whatever the side length, maybe say 5 uh, over B or C, and then you would solve the equation. One topic that I don't like in math 3 is mathematical induction. I understand how it works, but I don't like proving and solving for uh, like k. Um, so for example, when given like 2, 4, 8, 16, and then the equation 2 raised to the n equals 2 times 2 and minus 1, I don't know, something weird that works. I don't really like the logic that's used um, to get like 2 raised to k plus 1 equals whatever and then using prior knowledge like factoring and GCF and stuff that, that just it kind of bugs me how that works. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's my video. Thanks.